Hello guys, Jmotion Pictures back with another video. And today I'm going to be going over the GC Multiverse McFarlane Toys The Flash movie, The Flash. As you can see, this is the gold label variant, which means we have different paint for the figure, uh updated paint on the figure as well. And uh yeah, a different card it looks like, but the same lightning accessories. Uh but looking at the actual box, you can see it has, you know, The Flash right on the front of it. So you have The Flash, The Flash, go on the side, The Flash, The Flash. And the Flash, the Flash, the Flash, and uh, I think that's it. Uh, but yeah, so on the back you get a really nice uh, picture of Barry Allen with giving a very creepy side eye. That's uh, Ezra Miller for you. And then um, if I say he and him, I'm talking about the character because I know that Ezra Miller's pronouns are they and them. Uh, so just like to get that out of the way. Um, and yeah, so you can see we have the card inside. I'm not going to take the card out because I like to keep them in when it's a gold label, uh, variant. So yeah, you can see you also have the regular DC display stand, which is what you have seen Barry Allen on. And it's basically just this. This is the DC display stand. They're all the same, as you could see. Um, but yeah, I don't want to take the card out. I don't want to ruin the actual cardboard in the box. But, uh, yeah. All right, so once again, taking a look at the figure these accessories really make him look really cool um of course again these two are the black adam accessories that are wrapped around his arms but if you have the black adam figure this is just to demonstrate you could definitely use other ones um if you wanted to mix the some blue and red in there and you know do that you could i personally wouldn't but yeah and then from like the justice league flash you could always you know use those Basically, any Flash figure that you have from DC, uh, McFarlane, you can just kind of wrap it around somewhere and have it work. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting to kind of mess around with. But taking a look at the accessories that the figure comes with, again, you know, coming with the regular display base. Uh, so taking these uh, Black Adam accessories off, you just have the four uh, Barry Lightning accessories which the thing about these things is that they're like okay you, they're very confusing to figure out exactly how to wrap them around him and where to put them like they don't it's there's no real clear thing where it should be for the leg and it should be for the arms um or wherever you want to put them but those are the only accessories you, you get that card that i showed you which it's basically not even basically the card is the image on the back so you're just getting the same thing on the card um i just prefer not to take the card out of the packaging because that means i would have to rip up the actual packaging so getting on to the actual figure here this i'm gonna put the brightness up so you can see everything because there is a lot to actually notice he looks very weird right now so taking a look at the actual figure itself it's really nice man i gotta be honest it's really good the head sculpt looks enough like Ezra Miller to where I think that it can pass. Uh, let me grab the original Justice League one. These eyes, I said, I think I said in my old video a while ago that these were just a little mispainted. No, these are very mispainted. I don't know what I was talking about. But yeah, you could see where it's supposed to be and where it is. Um, and then compared to this one, it looks a lot better. I think in person, it looks a little more like Ezra Miller and in better light. Uh, it kind of does on camera. It's kind of a little more difficult to capture, but I really like this, man. It's really good. Um, and then going to the original, I don't have the regular uh, variant of this Flash suit figure, but I do have the Justice League one because something kept telling me, like, I went to my Target, it wasn't there. I went to my Walmart, it wasn't there. I told myself to just kind of hold off a little more and um i picked up the spider verse figures and then this came out and i was like well now's my chance so i got this instead and i'm pretty happy with it honestly i like that i get the darker red here it looks a lot better in my opinion it looks again more realistic not because it's darker but because it looks more accurate to the movie and it just it, it makes the yellow lines pop quite a bit more and uh this on the back i don't like that i don't know if it's in the movie it doesn't look like it when he's running up that building but this doesn't really look that great. I feel like if it was slimmed down a lot more, perhaps like these thin lines, it would have fit so much better. Or you really just didn't need these. And then you could have just had two lightning stripes going up to around here and then connecting it better. This just looks really weird. And I don't personally like it. 
I thought it looked weird on the original and it looks weird here as well. Because I think that it's like, you have so many sleek and thin lines on the suit and then you just have these random thick ones that portray so large on the back. It, it just kind of throws me off a little bit. It doesn't look the best, but I don't know yet if that's from the movie or if they just didn't have enough concept art and just did that themselves. I could definitely see that being the case, honestly, but yeah, other than that, and this guy has no butt, like it is just all gone. But anyway, <laughs> so moving off from that, the figure looks, again, really great. You have a lot of the texturing detail. Let me if I can get my camera to focus on all of that. It looks really nice. You can definitely see it on the arm there. It depends on how the light reflects on the shoulder there. You can see on the chest, it looks really good. And then throughout the legs, it's, yeah, you can see it right there too. It just works a little differently. The boots are really nice. It's more of a design on the movie, not the figure, but I really, how nice would it have been to get a comic accurate flash shoot suit with comic accurate boots i don't know why my camera is so out of focus but yeah it would have looked great but i mean these are okay too i guess it's better to have this than to have nothing um so yeah this is really nice i do like this i'm assuming that these are going to be his brakes like he like stops on them i don't know what's with my camera i'm gonna just assume that that's what that is uh which i'm fine with but what i don't know uh what this is is these like discs or these like circles on his hands. Uh, I know the figure doctor said that it looked like web shooters and I can't get that out of my head now because it really does. It literally just looks like he has like, I don't know, Andrew Garfield's web shooters on his hands, which that's really weird to me. Um, I don't know if they'll explain it in the movie, but probably not. It's, it's whatever. I mean, it's there. It's not the most noticeable thing in the world. Um, the diaper does come up a bit high, but I think it's fine. It doesn't get in the way of articulation. And, uh, yeah, speaking of that, I think this is, this would be a good part to kind of go into that. So let's see. You can see the head looks up a good amount of high up. I think the original Flash did it better, but this is okay as well. It's actually not bad at all. Then it looks down nicely. You get the side to side, which is really good. And then, of course, it turns around. Um, and then with the arms, you can move it all the way around. You have some of the arm rotation with that, uh, cuff kind of hiding the joints and what it looks like all under there. You got the bicep swivel, which works really nicely. You have the double jointed elbows, which work perfectly. And then you have the hand, the sculpted hinge there, which, you know, it's a lot better than that random ball there, but you moves like that, or you can just turn just the hand and turn that and you can get it more into like a dynamic running pose there if you wanted to and then the arm moves up this high with the torso you have the twist at the top and the bottom there uh, most of it just breaks up the lines i'm fine with it you can't really get that to be perfect uh so moving it forward it only moves forward that much which it's better than what we usually get but i mean yeah, it's not bad. I can't really complain. It's definitely better than what we used to get. But I feel like some figures, McFarland is better at doing this. Um, they've done it better before. Like on the DC Rebirth Batman. Let's get him in here. I feel like his was definitely better. Uh, yeah, so... It's okay. It's it's an, it's kind of enough. You can still get him into some really good poses, though, especially running poses. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so it goes back that far, which is not bad. Um, so that's pretty cool. Then with the legs, he kicks up this far. And when the diaper stretches and wrinkles, it literally just goes right back down. So you're fine. And then he does perfect splits, but they are pretty crunchy. Um, so yeah it's not a deal breaker for me and then you have the double jointed uh knees which work nicely and you have a small bit of th um thigh rotation in there like a small bit if you do, if you move the leg you can definitely get it out a lot more and get them into those poses but like yeah a little bit on that vanilla pose it's not it's not bad it's definitely better than some of the other ones we've got and then uh yeah kicks back that far which is nice especially in those running poses but this is a little, the, the back part, the butt cheek of the diaper is down too much. So it's, it is restricting some of that leg movement there, which is quite unfortunate. And then I think that's it. You have, besides the ankle, let's see, it moves this far down, which is great. This far up, which is again, 
again really good then it can pivot it can also swivel there too and then you have the toe articulation which is really good measuring this figure he stands right around a little under the seven and a half inch mark all right so here the flash stands next to the justice league 2021 movie wave and the red and blue superman which is also the uh same as the black and suit version. Here the Flash stands next to the Shazam, Fury of the Gods Shazam, and Shazam, Fury of the Gods Wonder Woman. And I think they actually scale pretty well. I like this. Here's how the Flash stands next to the DC Rebirth Batman. And last but not least, here the Flash stands next to the Marvel Legends Stan Lee. Alright, this is the end of the video, but what is my final opinion? I think this figure is really good. I mean, the original version is just different paint. If you don't care and have a, you're fine with having more of a candy apple red, this is more accurate to the actual suit. I prefer getting the gold label version for accuracy, but if you prefer the uh, red, then I guess you could get that too. They're basically the same figure, so count this as the gold label version and the regular version. Um, yeah, I think it's really great. I want to give this figure like an 8 out of 10 because I really do enjoy it. You can get him into some pretty pretty cool poses i have a picture right here this is just around in my house of just how you know dynamic you can really get him you see captain cold over there uh but yeah this is really cool a really good figure i like this a lot i had a lot of fun with it and it scales pretty well you can scale him pretty good next to the dceu figures maybe some other comic figures um but yeah, really good. I like it. I really enjoyed it a lot. The lightning accessories are a little weird, though. I, those are kind of a miss. Uh, if you have any others, though, which I, most people really do, then you can put those on him like this, and I think it works just fine. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. And if you've enjoyed, please give this video a like. And if you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications. I just posted a Spider-Verse video, and man, it went crazy. Thank you guys so much for the support. And it really means a lot, and it's cool to see how people actually really enjoy the videos that i put my time and effort into so again if you want to support please like and subscribe and that's going to be it thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye